fairness. Good. As you snapped a five-game losing streak, now you stepped in starting a center. The way you guys won this game down the stretch, how satisfying did this one feel after kind of dropping a couple heartbreakers last week? Uh, it felt good. It felt good. Uh, before we get to the draft family tomorrow, I think we needed this win, but more important, uh, we came back yesterday. Uh, we worked more on defense. Uh, guys understood that we needed to play a uh, better defense than we have. Um, and we give up a lot of points, I think, at the beginning of the game. So we have to find a way to kind of catch up with that. But in general, I think a lot of guys corrected mistakes. Uh, I think one of the uh, remarkable things tonight was PJ in the first half was in foul trouble. Uh, keep his mind in the game. Uh, came back in the second half and, and, and played great. So uh, we need everybody uh, collectively. I think we all did a good job. Uh, we stick to the game plan. Uh, and, and again, if you're going to win some games like that, you're going to lose some games like that. Uh, we just got to continue to grow, continue to learn from it. And, uh, and, you know, I think we're headed in the right direction. It's pretty the fact that we've dropped some games. Uh, there's games that we could have won here and there. But, you know, you continue to grow and learn from your mistakes. This is your best game of the season. How much do you think the rest of your team has fed off by that defensive intensity you brought mm -hmm. as a starting center and that physicality, particularly in that second half? Yeah. I mean, the goal for me was just to come in and be a defensive president. I know the offense, we all figure, we all figure the offense out. You know? We all understand that system, what we need to do in order for us to score. So scoring is not a problem. It uh, wasn't going to be a problem tonight. I just had to figure out, you know, um, how to help my teammates and be confident, pressure the ball. And when I needed to switch, I switch. But overall, you know, uh, thank God we got a win, uh, and, and the coach uh, put us in a position to succeed as we do every night. So, uh, you know, um, now we just gotta go back and watch you know, some more films. We wanna learn from our mistakes and, and continue to grow. I think this is this is fun for all of us. We 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 know we're capable of being a good team. You know, it's just a process. Uh, young guys gotta learn, and we gotta continue to grow. So, Tomorrow we get to, to eat a little more too, so that's a plus. <laughs> you played with, against and with a lot of good players in this league. What do you think about the stretch Demonte is on right now? With the way he's shooting the ball and 15 assists right now. And it just seems like everything is clicking for him right now in just a second season. Devonta has been phenomenal. Uh, you, you could tell because the way he worked last year, uh, even when he wasn't playing, you'll see every time I come back to the gym, I'll see him in the gym. So there's no secrets, there's no shortcut to this. Like he has put so many hours in the gym that the only way things could happen for him is you know him playing the way he's playing now. And obviously that helped our teams because it, it takes stress off other guys and uh, and now he's just able to help everybody, you know. And and as he continued to play that way, we all gotta do a good job, continue to help him. And he's the point guard, you know. Uh, him and Terry, they will find a way to play with each other. And I think that's the most important thing. We gotta continue to help them. But again, he's been playing unbelievable, and uh, and this is great for us and, uh, and for him as well. Biz, coming off that losing streak, did your team's mentality or just attitude in the locker did that change at all throughout that, or did it kind of just stay consistent? It never changed. You never want to get too high. You never want to get too low. You know, you're throughout your ups, you get to learn a lesson. To the downs, you learn a lesson as well. I think, like I say, even though we won tonight, you know, there's things we could have done better. Uh, so we have to go back and watch them, just like those games that we have lost. Uh, so you're going to win some, you're going to lose some, but you want to find a balance um, that that's going to help you in the long term. This is a 82 game season. You can't have ups when you look, you're winning and down, when, you know, be down when you're losing. No, this is it's a great league. You know, we get. To, a lot of quick turnarounds, so we've got to stay focused, we've got to stay patient, we got to keep working. And Brego was talking about how with this young team that there's going to be a lot of close games this year, and mm. obviously you guys have had a lot of close games recently, and closing out specifically. Um, do you think the biggest part with that, like closing out games, is defense more so than offense? Like you just said, the offense is going to be there tonight. I think defense is always going to be our key. You know, a lot of great players I've seen defense win championship for a reason. I don't think it's for nothing. So at the end of the day for us, our defensive presence is going to help us. We have to stick with it. We have to continue to understand what the coach wants us to do and, and how we want us to, to be able to help each other out there. And, uh, and again, as, as we all continue to grow, we got to make sure that uh, we cover for each other. I think that's mm -hmm. the most important thing because as you play, there's mistakes that happen. Right. Uh, we end up giving some open shot, we mm -hmm. end up um, giving some
with some some low man help. So if we can start covering all those little things, I think we're gonna be alright. Awesome. Hey, how much